Now, this is the form I have created to query directly to a SharePoint library. The form is pre-configured using info path built in SharePoint query as data connection. And this is the SharePoint library that we're going to query from. This is pre-populated with product details, values such as ID, code, name, category and subcategory, price, unit of measure, brand, supplier, and packaging. For the purpose of this demo, this library was populated with 100 rows. Now let's try to query using direct info path data connection. Let's go back to our form. Click on preview to our form. So our form works this way. I will enter a value in the product ID and if I click on the query button, the data connection should query the corresponding row that matches the product ID and populates the fields in the form. So let's enter an ID value. But before we query, let's get our timer again in the view. Okay, we're all set. Click on query. Just say yes to that. Our timer starts. So that's five seconds. Let's record the time as time A. Now, this is the form I have created to query using Query SharePoint. If we open our data connection, we'll see that the web service points to Query SharePoint. As you can see, I have already published this form in my DAT. So let's see how Query SharePoint will work. Let's open our form from DBXL. And let's enter an ID, bringing our timer back in the view, and start the query. So that's three seconds. Let's record the time as time B. To give you a brief recap of our query performance, InfoPath completed the query at 5 seconds, while DBXL's query SharePoint finished the process at only 3 seconds, which shows that you can definitely save time using Kadabra's query SharePoint web service. The submit documents and query SharePoint web services are included in package with DBXL, and you can download a free trial version of DBXL from our website. Just go to www.kadabra.com, click on Products. On the Products page, click on Kadabra Database Accelerator. Thank you for viewing the DBXL performance demo.